Alright boyos, welcome back to another video that gives me a reason to quit YouTube and stream Candy Crush on Facebook Live. Tattoos. Love them or hate them, they're pretty common for people to have. Whether you want to get a small tattoo of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle perfectly fit onto your nose, or make your whole skin look like your grandma's wallpaper, that's, that's up, up to you. you. Some people go to an extent though when getting tattoos, and they go too far and get addicted with getting more and more tattoos look like a lizard that walk out of a nuclear plant. We're going to be looking at a guy who literally wants to turn himself into a vampire machine gun <laughs> Kelly. Ah, I almost forgot, this video is by Barcroft TV. It's been a hot minute since we mentioned that beautiful channel. Oh shit. I am the world's youngest, what most modified that? youth. At least for the moment. Jesus, I thought they were killing him for a second. Looks like they were shoving a four feet long needle right into his epiglottis. That statement just made me feel uncomfortable. I'm gonna grab my mason jar. Oh, my God. Outback Steakhouse. I always like different. Different's cool, different's unique. More or less, I just kind of fell in love with the way it looks. I never thought the back page of my math notebook would become a living person. Okay, tell me I'm not the only one that draws a bunch of random I'm doodles on the back of their notebook when they're bored, because I swear I turned into Pablo Picasso on that back page. And how you feel when you walk down the street and you kind of get like a sense of empowerment. People like stop and they stare and they're like, whoa, look at that dude. Yeah, probably because they think you just hopped out of your UFO that you came into. Honestly, man, on the no homo stuff, I got socks on, you did. This man looks like he was just a good looking guy, you know? He could have had a nice career, but instead he turned his skin tone to Leonardo da Vinci's scrapbook. Ah. I'm sure the cure for cancer is tattooed on that body. And you're just like, hey, that's kind of, that's kind of neat. I like to be a standout kind of dude and draw some attention. See, I just don't get the point of doing all this. He's trying to create his own skin tone at this point. Like, the tattoos on his face looks like scratched what? metal. I, I don't know what he's like trying to accomplish, and that's what I'm trying to understand. A lot of people ask me how many tattoos on average I have. Once you start getting sleeves and linking your tattoos all up, there's no number of tattoos, it all just becomes one. I would say my body is about 75%, maybe 80% tattooed. It's not like I spent this much money on tattoos and body modification. A rough guess, like 15,000. Paid fifteen thousand dollars look like road pavement. You know, honestly, man, you could do so much more with fifteen thousand dollars. You know, you can buy a nice down payment on a beautiful home, get a nice car, buy a Brazilian prostitute. Like There's so much stuff you could have done with fifteen thousand dollars. That's better than just making your skin looking like an ancient temple wall. I'd say my body modification journey began when I was eleven, when I first started stretching my ears. I got a lot of influence through like um, Aztec culture and stuff through the scarification and stretching of the earlobes and whatnot. What the fuck is that? That man has a whole stove top in his ear. I always wondered how uncomfortable those things were. Like, just looking at the image, it just looks like it's all uncomfortable. I don't think my earlobe is supposed to stretch that far. Attention from the opposite gender, I tend to get quite a fair bit of it. But yeah, I'm in a happy relationship. I've always known. That's odd. Looking at this couple is like looking at a yin and yang symbol because it's like one is fully covered in tattoo and the other doesn't have a single tattoo on the body. I mean, ladies, pick guys you want, but I'm sorry. If I was a woman, I don't want to have my man to have the same tongue as a South American anaconda snake. Actually, I can see why ladies would want that, if you know what I mean. Him with a lot of tattoos, and I've always been attracted to him with a lot of tattoos. So that's just Ethan to me. My main thing is I don't like the stitches in his mouth just because I'm personally afraid of clown demons. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm not really a hipster with devil stuff, you know, it's not really my thing. What does stitches have to do with demons again? If I get a bruise tattoo, am I worshipping Satan or something? If someone knows this, please tell me. But, <laughs> that's like my main thing I don't like. And this me is a baby. I'm very little. You're not that little. I'm like two or three there. Uh -huh. I mean, you're very cute. Thank you. And then... Uh, oh, yeah. How old are you here? Uh, 11-ish? Did he just say he was 11? He looked like he was 16 and just got home from the skate park wearing his red checkered vans and he said he was 11? I swear, there's some people in the world that can look 2 and 97 at the same time. It's like some people can never age, or they look like they age too fast. One or the other. Who like that? Such a normal child. I used to be a quite attractive 
classically handsome male, some might say. I'm sorry, what is on your face, my good man? This dude is trying to start off the bubonic plague again with those spots on his face. Like, seriously, that looks like a deadly airborne disease. Before I did all this work, so it wasn't for attention, I just dig it. I've always had, uh, yeah, different reactions from my relatives and friends and family and whatnot. Probably because you're the final boss of SoundCloud rappers, that's why. This man has more face tattoos than every SoundCloud rapper combined. Hey, sir, how many tattoos do you want? Yes. Uh, from different stages of modification. When I got my eyeballs tattooed, my mum couldn't look at me for like a month without getting tears in her eyes. They've just kind of learned that, oh, he's going to do it anyway. So there's no point in trying to stop it or or, or uh, resent him for it. Still the same person. Sometimes you get people walking past shaking their head, you know, being a bit condescending. Like a good and genuine person, so I'll give him my respect tokens, but I just don't get why he's doing this, you know? Try to look like Nightcrawler's stepbrother is saying something here, that it might be too excessive, but I guess you do you. Yeah. Um, sometimes, on the rare occasion, you'll get uh, someone, you know, say something out loud that's not too nice. Uh, a bit rude. You realise when you look like this that there's going to be certain downsides and not everyone's going to treat you like how they should. This is heartwarming and all, but don't let this distract you from the fact that guy can save you 15% on car insurance. So, but what really blows my mind is how the human body is made up of 75% water or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. And this guy's body has 80% ink. Just, just let, let that, that sink in. in. Also, did you know that Jurassic World was just a vlog about dinosaurs? Uh, get my hair cut and tattoo my head. That will be fun. I'm happy with my look, obviously, because I've done it to myself. I don't have a limit on what he can and can't do. If he wants to get more procedures, cool. As long as they're aesthetically pleasing to me, I don't mind. So this one here um, is a black dahlia. Of course, it's f***ing awesome. Really cool murder case to read up on. So I was like, yeah, let's get it tattooed. And then with a pentagram carved into a forehead. Not gonna lie, you had me until you started speaking Satan. That's where that's where you just lost me, you know? Also, this guy looks so incredibly drunk. He's wobbling more than the waving inflatable guy at a car dealership. <laughs> Honestly, he seems like a pretty cool dude. I already said that and I wish him the best of luck. Well, I'm gonna cut it off there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button because uh why not? And if you like my horde content, feel free to subscribe. If you don't, Big Bird himself will be standing in the doorway with the strap. You don't want that to happen. And it's not the strap you're thinking of. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to head out. Peace.